everyone welcome back to Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how to send Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp. So I am an owner of a business and I have created an online store using Shopify with the help of which I am selling products to all of my customers. So here what I want is that, that as soon as by any of my customers an order is going to be placed using Shopify automatically to the customer of place the order I want to send a WhatsApp message telling them the order confirmation is done and if I'm going to do this manually it is going to take me a lot of time so what I did was I simply created an automation between Shopify and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So for sending WhatsApp messages, I am using WhatsApp by AI Sensei as I've created a message template using that. If you want, you can use Varti Interact or WhatsApp Cloud API to create your own message template. If you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp. I run an online store on Shopify and if a customer places an order of the products that I'm selling on my Shopify store, instead of waiting for an email confirmation, the customers immediately receive a WhatsApp message confirming their purchase with complete details of the order that they have placed. This quick and personalized communication can boost customers' trust and retention, giving our store an edge in customers' satisfaction. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as send Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp. Okay, so this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click on this drop down. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Shopify automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first and for the trigger application, what we are going to do is we are going to select it as Shopify. As with the help of Shopify, I am running an online store with the help of which I am selling products of my business. Here my objective is that whenever a new product is going to be an order is going to be created in my Shopify account, automatically to the customer have placed the order, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded. Okay, So that is how the trigger application, I am going to select it as Shopify and for the trigger event that I am going to select it as new order as whenever a new order is going to be placed in my Shopify account, automatically instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response okay after selecting a trigger application and the event you can see that Pabli Connect has provided us with the webhook URL with the help of this unique webhook URL we are going to connect Shopify to Pabli Connect so I'm going to copy this URL from here and after that I'm going to follow the steps given below in the help desk one by one to connect my Shopify account to Pabli Connect I'm going to open my Shopify account so this is the Shopify account right away and this is my online store as you can see right over here we are going to connect our account to Pabli Connect from the left side of the panel on the bottom of the left side you can see it says settings we're going to click on it as we go to click on settings under settings you have to click on this notifications button right over here the notifications window is then going to appear in front of you and over here it says webbooks under the options we're going to click on it 
Webbooks window is then going to appear in front of you and over here it says create webbook. We are going to select this option. Firstly, it is going to ask you for the events. For the event in the help desk, it says you have to select it as orders create. So what I am going to do is for the events over here, I am going to search for order creation. So I am going to select over here this option under events that is order creation. Okay. For the format, you have to select it as JSON. For the URL, we are going to paste the webbook URL that Public Connect has provided us. And then for the webbook API version, we need to select the latest version that is available under the option. So this is the latest version. So I am going to select it. After filling in all the required details, I am going to save this webbook right over here. You can see it says webbook saved successfully. The webbook has now been successfully created in my Shopify account. So if I am going to take you back to my workflow, it is saying waiting for webbook response. So now what we are going to to do is we are going to do a dummy purchase with the help of the store that we have created using our Shopify account and we are going to check whether public and it captures the response of the test purchase that we are going to do or not for the test order that we are going to place. So how we are going to do that over here on the left side of the panel it says online store you can see next to online store a preview button is given to us we are going to click on this button. So this is the online store of my Shopify account as you can see right away and uh, these are the two products that I have created in my store okay and for doing the test purchase I am going to select a product from here. So this is the product that I want to purchase over here I have to click on this buy it now button right over here. It is going to ask for the customer's detail firstly it is asking for the contact detail for the contact detail firstly it is asking for the email so for the email over here I am going to write it as Test demo 14 at the rate pablitudes.com. This is the email address. For the country, I'm going to select it as India. For the first name over here, I'm going to select it as test. For the last name over here, I'm going to select it as demo 14. For the address over here, I'm going to write it as 123 New Town Apartment and Suite. I'm going to skip the part. For the city over here, I'm going to write it as Bhopal, state as Madhya Pradesh. And for the PIN code, I'm going to write in a dummy PIN code. Okay. After that, it is asking for the shipping method. I'm going to select it as standard. And for the payment method, I'm going to select it as cash on delivery. Okay. For the billing address, I'm going to select it same as shipping address. After filling in all the details, I'm going to click on this complete order button. As you can see, the confirmation of the order has now been done successfully. So the order has now been placed. As the order is placed with the help of Shopify, I'm going to open my workflow and I'm going to scroll down. And yes, you can see in the workflow that I've created, the response of the order placed has been successfully captured. Let us tally the response. For the total price of the order being 2950. For the state comes as Madhya Pradesh, name as test demo 14, country as India, city as Bhopal, address as 123 Newtown. Payment method as COD, order number the order number, product name as chair right over here. For the email address test demo 14 at the rate pablitudes.com and all the other details. So this means that Shopify is now successfully connected to Pabli Connect and a trigger setup is done. So now whenever a new order is going to be placed in my Shopify account automatically and instantly Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. As now my objective is that whenever an order is placed by any of my customers using Shopify, I want to send that customer a WhatsApp message and I will be sending the WhatsApp message with the help of the template that I've created using WhatsApp by AI Sensei. Okay. So this is the message template that I've created as you can see right over here and I want to send this message template as a message to all my customers who are going to place the order using Shopify okay. So for the action application over here what I'm going to do is I am going to select it as WhatsApp by AI Sensei as with the help of WhatsApp by AI Sensei I've created this message template. You can use Wati Interact or WhatsApp Cloud API to create your own message template okay. After selecting the action application for the action event I'm going to select as send template message and then I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear on which you can add new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that over here it is going to ask you for the API key with the help of which we are going to connect WhatsApp by AI Sensei to Pabli Connect. Okay. So to have the access of the API key log into your AI Sensei account. So this is my AI Sensei account and from the left side of the panel to click on this manage button right over here. Under manage it says API key we are going to click on it and this is the API key. So, so I am going to copy this key from here and I am going to paste it right over here and then I am going to click on this save button. As you can see that WhatsApp by AI Sensei is now successfully connected to public connect after connecting it is asking for the campaign name. So for sending the messages by using WhatsApp by AI Sensei we need to create a campaign in our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account in order to send template messages as messages to our customers. So I have created a template over here a message template in the name of Shopify message template let us read the template that we have created. 
it says order confirmation hello next to hello you can see customer's name is written in the bracket so this is the variable that i've created while creating a message template and in place of the variable i want to enter the values as per the variables asking for it is asking for customer's name so next to hello the customer's name is going to be there it says thank you for shopping with us your order with the order number you have to enter the order number this is the other variable that i've created has been successfully placed order details the item name the item name variable for the total amount the total amount variable if you have any questions feel free to reply to this message we are here to help thank you for choosing so this is the message template that i've created using whatsapp by ai sensi and now we're going to create a campaign of this template right over here so now to create a campaign what we have to do is from the left side of the panel it says campaigns right over here we're going to click on it okay after doing that over here this campaign page is then going to appear in front of you to create a new campaign you have to click on this top right corner launch button right over here it is going to ask you to select the campaign type you have to select it as api campaign click on this next button it is asking for the campaign names so with the campaign name over here i'm going to give it as shopify message this is the campaign name that i want okay after selecting the campaign name it is asking for the templates for the template you need to select the template that you have created with the help of whatsapp by snc so this is a template that i have created in the name of shopify message template you need to select that template from here okay after selecting the campaign name and the template you have to click on the set live button after click on set live to click on this go to campaign button you can see a campaign in the name of shopify message has been created and the status of the campaign is live it is very important for the status to be live because in the help desk it says we need the campaign that should be having the status as live okay as the campaign is created in my whatsapp by ai sensi account firstly it is asking for the campaign name so the campaign name over here i'm going to write the campaign name that is shopify message okay after the campaign name it is asking for the phone number the mobile number on which we want to send a whatsapp message to so for the mobile number what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we go to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as i'm going to click on this field over here you can see this was the previous step of this workflow that is shopify new order as you can see right over here and as i'm going to click on it this was the same response that was captured in our previous step so over here for the mobile number i'm going to search for the mobile number so this is the mobile number as you can see right over so what i'm going to do is from my previous response i'm going to select the data right over here as i've selected the data from my previous response the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here in place of this mapped data is going to be updated next it is asking for the username to whom we want to send a whatsapp message to so as i want to send a whatsapp message to the customer of place the order so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the date of the name of my customer i'm going to map it okay next it is asking for the source and the tags i do not require the fields so i'm going to skip the part next it is asking for the template parameter so as i've already told you that i've created some variables in this template you can see variable 1 2 3 and 4 so for the template parameter field we're going to enter the data of the variable values that we want and we have to enter the values in the similar manner that we have created these variables in this template as for the variable 1 i want the name of my customer so for the template parameter first data i am going to map the data of the name of my customer comma space now we need to enter the variable to value that is going to be the order number so for the order number i am going to search for the order number right over here this is the order number i'm going to map the date of the order number comma space next it is asking for the item name i'm going to map the date of the item name right over here i'm going to search for item name so over here you can see the item name is given to us that is chair comma space i map the data okay and lastly it is asking for the total amount so now we're going to map the data of the total amount right over here so this is the total price i'm going to map the data so these were the variables that i've created in this template that i've entered in my template parameter right over here after that it is asking for the attributes and the url with the file name i do not require these fields so i'm going to skip the part after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button As I've done that, we have received a response. For the success comes as true, and we have received the message ID right over here. This is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp, and I'm going to check whether I have received a new WhatsApp message or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp, 
and yes you can see right away i have received a new whatsapp message it says order confirmation hello test demo 14 this was the name of the customer who have placed the order thank you for shopping with us your order with the order number has been successfully placed order details name of the item being shared total amount be 2950 as you can see right over here if you have any questions feel free to reply to this message we are here to help thank you for choosing so as the whatsapp message is forwarded to the order being placed using shopify this means that we successfully created an automation between shopify and whatsapp with the help of public connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i have created an online store using shopify with the help of which i am selling products to all of my customers so my objective was that that as soon as a new order is going to be placed by any of my customers using shopify towards the customer of place the order i want to send an order confirmation whatsapp message and for that i've created this amazing automation between shopify and whatsapp with the help of public connect and this is how you create this amazing automation so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of public connect between multiple applications if you have any doubt you can send us email on support@public.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.public.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of public connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching